what's up everybody um so it's first day out with the skag um i've cut a few yards already it has never cut grass before but i think we're about to try it on this next lawn so i want to video it for you but man i don't know if you can tell the way i uh sound but in the last few days um river my son had some sniffles and then you know as he climbs on me and everything every day well he ends up giving that to me so i really not really in the hey let's chat and video and <laughs> talk to the camera kind of mood but i want to get the first cut of that mower uh, on video and plus not only that but even some some other cuts i want to try to get a bunch of different footage of the new mower but this yard that we're about to be at right now is the first one ever that um it's ever cut and um you know just so they can i'm bring them both with me just for now especially since i don't really know that much about that mower and, and like i told you guys before once i have my routes organized a little bit um you know after the new format um i plan on not bringing them both you know all the time but uh for right now i got the my other trailer which i call the storm buggy because you know whenever we have like a storm or whatever with the sticks you know here at the lake um i use this trailer so and and so that they could both fit so i'm having to use this trailer right now which is totally fine that's why i have it in case i need it but um anyway so we got them both on there i'm gonna show you the setup and we're gonna get to mowing all right all right so y'all seen this yard before but here's the setup uh like i said still as you can see hang on there you go it's never cut grass before like my son river see because look how he's kind of sad about something for me it's kind of sad because it's like after you cut this first yard it's like that mower never be the same again once you plaster that deck with the grass under there that's it but <laughs> as you can see they fit comfortably on this trailer no problem so pretty awesome all right, let me get the skate down. We'll get some mowing done. guys uh i don't know if you can tell but this uh yard it has like a swell right here it's kind of like almost like the house is sitting on like a ball you see it kind of goes down goes up and it man it handled this very well as you can see it's very smooth no digging in so right off the bat i was very impressed with it it's very wet over here it rained yesterday a bunch and it still did just fine uh so right off the bat i i can tell that i love the mower already one thing uh 
this bar right here maybe it's just something that'll loosen up over time but like this guy likes his yard pretty short um so you know on a new mower you have to play around with the heights a little bit so i always had the pin right here and i wanted to move it right here and this orange bar right here is like in the line of it so you have to i had to like force this bar over to get the pin into the bottom hole right there so i don't know i feel like that not that it's not at all a deal breaker not a big deal to me but that's just a first thing i noticed on the mower that maybe they're not all like that and like i said maybe they'll get better over time but i had to force it over a little bit to get that pin in there again if it's like that forever i'm not i'm not complaining i think this mower is going to be my new secret weapon for my yards i think it's going to be the new secret weapon for my yards i really do um you know tried a lot of things in my business but i think i'm on to something with this never had a 36 see this yard it goes up big swell over there same kind of way you know it's kind of built on like a ball like this it's hard to tell on the camera but so we're going to try to mow this up it's usually pretty wet down here that's why they replaced the sod a little while ago because this area just get it just the water just sits right there and it just gets drowned over time all right guys as you can see um you know mowing it up still a little wet spot down here by the rocks you can see a little dark areas where the tires went but this thing did not rut at all and it's so hot in georgia here right now i mean by the time i got done with this yard you couldn't even see those little brown marks anymore and i didn't mow all of it you know i still weeded a bunch of it right here by the you know i didn't mow any closer than that um it's just something that we have to battle at this yard pretty bad everywhere in the yard it's like <laughs> could be like that anytime you see i Right there on the right, you see there's a little mark right there because I tried to intentionally go right on the peak of that little hump sideways. And so just a little bit um, of digging in, but that the way the way I went about it, might have even done that with my push mower. So I can't really blame it for that. But yeah, as you can see, front yard looks great. Just overall, this little mower is doing awesome. Awesome so far. I got some things coming up that are uh wondering about coming up in the video but as you can see this is uh it's hard to tell on camera it's a steep steep hill this whole yard is a, a steep hill that driveway is a steep hill i won't even back my truck you know on that driveway um just because of how steep it is usually i do this with the push mower this is going down the right side of the house this is all sloped i don't know if you can tell this is all like downhill <laughs> And I like er, slam on the brakes and flinging leaves and it doesn't back up. It's getting stuck because I noticed there's a yellow jacket nest in the ground up in front of me. And I'm trying to hold the camera. And then I just got to fly past it because I got no other options. <laughs> um, so this is one of the yards I was w wondering about if this would work or not. Because up front, you know, it's just a few swipes with Time Master. Um, I just didn't know how the customer would feel about it because it's so all this is on sloped like this. Um, you see there's a little stump right there and it's kind of on an awkward little hill right here. We're trying, we get, we get it going, we get past it, but, um, you know, so, you know, I'm trying to test it everywhere I can, I'm trying to test it in any place where I would normally need to use the Time Master. You see these small grass patches, you know, um, so I'm trying to use it anywhere where I would use that time master and see what it can do and see see what the customers say and stuff like that um you know i gotta deliver quality but this thing does deliver quality I, there's no scalping there's no you know any of that stuff with the 36 um so i really really like it overall here in a second i'll show you a little little finished product here of it <clears throat> uh it's hard because some of these times i'm trying to hold the flap and uh you know mow and stuff i need to get a bungee on that flap i need to do away with the flap and get a shoot system or something in general <laughs> you know going forward actually i would like to get the mulch kit because i think you see this final cut man it looks great i have to weed eat a little along the seawall but it has a little dip right there but other than that it's looking real good um 
I feel like since it's a 36 that the mulch kit would do really well because, you know, it's not trying to mulch through, you know, it's not trying to mulch a big old wide deck of material, you know, so I feel like a mulch kit would do great on the 36. Um, so that's something to think about in the future. Right here, I'm going up and back. Well, I just go back and forth like normal out there by the street, but there's a big river birch tree right here um, that's right in front of us. And so I have to go up and back because there's a bunch of leaves on the grass because it sheds them some in the summer here as it's kind of, uh, you know, as it's warm over here in Georgia. So, um, so I'm just going up and back because I'm trying to get these leaves pushed over to the side because the grass, it's, you know, it's cool season. They, he plants rye grass, which it kind of struggles in the summer, but it's hard to blow the leaves out of it, you know, because the grass is tall. So, using it like that to get it cleaned up. This is another little section where he's got some uh, ryegrass planted. We get it, you know, got to be delicate with it. Usually I push mow it, but that, it worked great for it. Um, so that's, you know, that's what's been going on. I That yard on the steep hill, that might have been one of the, one of the most trying ones uh, for the mower. Oh, I was... This clip is just to show you, hey, I got clippings from that Nandina and stuff. And it's cool because 36, you can you can drive around it. You still have room bes beside on the trailer. So, um, oh, another big thing that I noticed, not a big thing, but and it's not an issue. But, you know, with it being a 36, you basically, that caster tire, you basically have to put that in the bed or else you won't cut all the grass. You don't realize how much you use that uh, your deck like sticking out to your advantage until you go like this because like right now like if you're riding like in the grass you still miss a little strip because you know it just doesn't stick out so um something to get used to there uh any of you guys that i guess any any type of 36 mower y'all are probably like yeah, yeah i mean duh you know <laughs> that's how it is but i just you know never really owning uh 36 mower for any length of time you know just something i'm just not just you know didn't think about not familiar with but like i said that's not not a deal breaker at all either i mean no problem um this is just showing you kind of finished product of this this is yard another yard i usually push mow it just to keep the big mowers off from you know making uh traffic wear over time and uh this little mower does great seems to do great with it um so another situation where I tested, oh, this right here. So this is on a slope. And then this bank where I'm on went right there is even more of a slope. You can't even hardly walk up that little thing. Um, you, as you can see, it didn't hug it perfectly along there. You know, I did have to like go down into the yard and then go back up, reset myself to uh, give it a try when we get up towards the top. Um, but it did not tear up anything, did not scalp anything. Um, so it's really all I can ask for. I mean, even in that backyard, it did great. I mean, I'm pretty impressed with it. Um, so yeah, I mean, uh, I love it. <clears throat> all right, guys. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, but the bottom of these valve covers, you can see it pretty better on that one. Just a tiny bit of oil down there like seepage and uh it's not really a skag problem but i don't know these covers they look super cheap to me they look like a soda can metal never seen them like that even on some of my other residential kawasaki engines maybe that's just how they are nowadays but the ones i had years ago were not they were not really like that I don't think. I don't think. They might have been like that in my old Raptor, but I don't know. Uh, I don't know. You see a little bit of oil there? It's not much at all. It's just like sweating just barely. But I feel like you shouldn't do that with like 2.7 hours on it. I don't know. But that's just uh, something I noticed too. It probably run me hundreds of hours like that. Maybe a thousand hours and then you know, and then I sell the mower and get a new one or replace the engine or whatever I decide to do.
but see the difference look at this one completely different which i know this is the fx this is the commercial engine but uh i don't know completely different uh with that like i said i don't know if it's really a problem like i said it might just might last forever like that it's not really seeping i don't think that would be enough to make the level drop or anything like that but i'm just showing you guys any little things that i noticed on the mower so far but i overall i still love the mower even if at a thousand hours if i decide to not sell it and keep it past a thousand hours i'll pull the engine off put another engine i mean even if i put something else maybe a colder engine or who knows but um yeah so that's what's going on man i, I still don't feel good it's a couple this is tuesday and i just been getting clips of that mower every time when i need to use the 36 so i've been getting clips of that for you guys i keep forgetting to bring my straw hat my new hat but i'm gonna try to bring it tomorrow but uh, this last yard is late in the evening i need to get this finished up so i can be done so let me load up this mower you know weed eat it blow check weeds and all that and i'll get out of here but thank you guys for watching this video the update on the skag liberty um overall it's a great mower and uh i reply to all my comments so y'all let me know if you have any thoughts on the couple things i mentioned but i don't think any of those are deal breakers so all right boys what a blessing i was just mowing this yard and the customer gave me this gatorade and they give me this um lemonade and this i guess this ginger ale and whatever this uh i'm gonna stand it up for you hang on whatever this tea is um so yeah sometimes customers are a huge blessing they don't even know it you know so hey that was awesome because i was super tired last year of the day hopefully i didn't look bad or hopefully i didn't look too like pitiful outside or something but it's funny but anyway so sweet to give it to me i had to text her later and tell her um how much that meant to me so even though i already told her in person but so i should share that with you guys because sometimes awesome things like that happen from customers and uh yeah gotta be appreciative of it